so tired. I'm like filming a video half asleep. I think it's because the weather's shit, so I feel shit, and it's just like, oh, I can't be asked to film. I'm feeling all this, she already know this. She want a bad man to come and be the old. I'm feeling all this, she already know Don't worry, your girls got you. I got you. But I need more dresses in my life. I need to stop being such a boy. You are murder me. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am at uni, hence the background change. I also brought my favourite bed sheets with me, so don't worry. I just feel really awkward talking because there's other people in this flat. It's like. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to bother them, if that makes sense, so I'm just getting used to talking. And also, I'm like right by the window, and anyhow, anyone over there, open their windows, they'll see me talking to a camera, and they'll see the softboxes. It looks kind of weird. Do you, do you imagine? But anyway, because I'm back at uni, I did a massive shop. When I say massive, I mean my bank is broken. So much stuff to get, like winter wise, and I just wanted to add some more, I just wanted to add, it. I just wanted to add some more pieces to my wardrobe. This hasn't all been bought in one month. Let's start. I know where everything's from, not too sure of the prices, because I did rip the tags off. So I'm gonna put everything, prices, links down below. Don't worry, your girls got you, I got you. So I'm gonna start actually what I'm wearing. This top, it's really nice. It's kind of like wool, wool material, and it just stops above my belly button. I really love grey. On camera, it looks kind of just like a plain grey, but it's more speckled. It's just nice. Like, I wanted something more high neck for the winter months to like kind of lay. I could wear this under jumpers and still feel warm. So that is from Forever 21. So obviously at uni, you go out a lot. So I had to get myself some more going out outfits. So I got this bodysuit. It's mesh, completely mesh. And what I like is at the bottom, it's like got basically like pants. It's a very sexy bodysuit. I'm really loving that. Really cheap as well, like super affordable, like something like 12 pounds. I never wear dresses and I rarely wear skirts. I'm always in jeans. So I was like to myself, okay, let's, let's try something different. So this is very similar to what I'm wearing, but it's kind of like three quarter length of sleeves, just cuts here in a nice place. It's got the high neck like this again, and it just flows effortlessly down, and it cinches in the waist, and I just thought, I need more dresses in my life. I need to stop being such a boy. So I got myself just a plain white tee from Forever 21. This was like in their basic section. It was like three pounds, just because I didn't really have any. It's just nice to layer a crisp white tee, blue jeans, white shoes, nice jacket. You can't really go wrong, can you? So that's from Forever 21. Now I'm gonna move on to the shoes I got. So if you guys don't know, I'm definitely a trainer person. I just love trainers, but I just, I don't know. I just don't really wear anything else. So I got myself some Air Forces and I got the black ones. I'm obsessed with the white ones. I still, I bought mine, well, I got mine about maybe two years ago now, a year and a half ago. And they're still looking fresh. I still rock my white Air Force. And I thought, hmm, because I love them that much. Why don't I experiment and get a different colour? I'm just not feeling them as much. They look really shiny and I just don't know how I feel about that. They need to be more matte and yeah, I'm trying to like incorporate it in outfits but I don't know if this shoe is for me. We'll see. But I did get them from JD, they were like £70. And I don't even like them that much. The next pair of shoes I have worn, I've literally only worn these about four or five times but I got caught in the rain so I apologise I have not cleaned them. But these are the Stan Smiths. I mean... <laughs> I just love these shoes, but I've wanted them for ages, they're looking hella, hella dirty. Yeah, I just think that's just such a nice shoe, and they just, they're just my style, they're just really up my shoes, so I was just like, have to get me a pair of them. I got myself some of these, I wanted them for ages. <laughs> no, I just, I love Vans, and I wanted these ones in particular for such a long time. The so discount on that was, yeah, so they were 50, $51.99 and I got them for $41.59. So, choose for £41. Are you mad? You know those friends who have feet small enough so they can shop in the junior section and they're all like, oh my god, I got my Air Force for 30 quid and all of this and I have to pay like the full £70. <laughs> I just got myself some shoes for £40. <laughs> so that's it for shoes. Now let's move on to Toppy Show. To start off with, I got myself some Jodie jeans. 
it was a 20% off day in Topshop and Topshop usually do 10% off but 20% off you're saving loads. Here are the Jodie jeans, they're just the black ones, um, high waisted. I didn't really want to get them because I find with me when I buy jeans like this, at a certain point, how do you say it, the elastic inside of them goes. So this part here is usually really tight, gets loose. I got them in a the waist 28 but the thing is they fit really well and I'd say with things like this if you're thicker girl and you've got you know them big thighs then I'd say downsize down the line when you're wearing them the last the elastic's not gonna go as much the next pair of jeans if I'm right are Janie jeans so they're like a lovely baby bluish colour they have no rips guys I'm not doing I'm not about the ripped life anymore like after about two washes those jeans are finished there's no point in you buying them. Do you know it's kind of like a ripped hem and they, it cuts at different points. I just really like it, I think it's stylish. Altogether, I got, I say 15 pounds 60, so 62 pounds for two jeans. So basically 30 pounds for Topshop jeans and they're usually, what, 40. I got myself a massive jacket. It's like a puffy jacket, but it's silk and it's this, you know everyone lo knows I love pink? It's just this lovely colour and I'm just feeling it 100%. It's like a brassy pink and it's just so nice. The only thing is, in rain, it's silk. It's not really for that, but... <laughs> so, the first thing I got in Zara was this jumpsuit. It's a massive, flurry jumpsuit, culotte jumpsuit. And it's just got stripes running all the way down. It's a really lovely material. It's a v-neck, so it shows a little bit of cleavage, if that's what you're into, you know. But the main reason why I came to Zara was for this jacket. So, this jacket is... It's like fake suede, it's not real suede. It was expensive though, it was like 70 pounds. I saw some girl in my shop when I worked in London wearing it and I was just like, there is no way in hell I'm not asking her where she got her jacket from and I just knew from when she walked in I was like, Zara. Yeah, I really, really love this jacket. I've got a lipstick stain on it though. Trust me, but I'm really excited. I I just can't wait to like style it more. Next, Primark. So I went into Primark, just had a little browse really, um, and I just wanted to get some like fairy lights, things like that for my room. And I stumbled across a few things. The first one being this dress. So it's a bodycon pink, baby pink dress. You guys know how I feel about pink. I'm just getting more confident with wearing bodycon stuff. Like I would never, ever. You know what, I'm gonna try it. I put it on the dressing room and I was like, maybe I can make it work. It was really cheap, it was like 10 pounds. Then I got this top, it's cute, it's flirty, it's pretty. I was just like, yep, yeah, that's one of them tops. It's an off the shoulder striped tops and I absolutely am obsessed with stripes. It's a crop top, this jumpsuit, so it's really nice and it fit me so nice. I got it in a size 12, it just cinches in in all the right places. And I was just like, yes, like I could wear this and feel confident and be happy in it. So I went into Pull and Bear and they were having a 25% off all day kind of thing in the store on everything. So I was just like, let's go see if I can find something. And I saw these dresses. It's just a plain bodycon dress. The material's like woolen, thick woolen. It looks expensive. It doesn't feel like, you know, those really cheap material bodycon dresses and you can basically see everything you can see what you had for dinner last night them kind of dresses it's not one of those ones and the one thing that i like at the back it has a little split in it and then i was walking down and because it was so cheap it was under 10 pounds just like i'm gonna get another one in a different color this one's a bit more adventurous for me again pink nude it's got the little split in the back that was that one then i went into uniqlo and they were also having a 25 percent off on all their jeans and i was like struggling to find jeans so I thought, hmm, I'm gonna try this. And they are, when I tell you stretchy, yeah, you and your best friend could wear this together. Like, you could both fit in. That's how stretchy these jeans are. I got mine in a waist 28. They're also ankle grazers. Like, you could downsize like five sizes and they still fit because they're that stretchy. <laughs> There's this place in London, if you haven't been, you've got to go. It's called Beyond Retro. If you get the tube to Oxford Circus, it's basically behind the station and it just does the best vintage clothes at really affordable prices. Like I got myself a really nice denim jacket in there that would in a different place probably be around £50 for £20 there. That just goes to show like how they price their items. I really wanted some vintage high waisted jeans. So what did I do? I got me some Levi's for only £20 for original vintage Le Levi jeans. I was so happy. I think I got these in a waist 32 until I got started wearing them a bit and realising that they're actually kind of big for me. The last thing I got, because everybody has them and 
I just wanted some sliders really because I'm at uni now and I'm going to be walking into kind of like communal areas and I don't really want to do that with no shoes on so got myself some Adidas sliders. These were literally like £12. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything about my hair will be linked down below. The lady who does it, London based lady, I literally came back to London just for my hair. That's how good she is. So she got me looking fine. If you're interested, then definitely go check her out. Um, I had something else to say. Mm. Room tour is coming soon. I just haven't, oh, I don't know how I feel about the room. You know when you're just like, oh, I don't know if it's done yet. Like there's a few more things I want to get before I do my room tour, but I definitely, definitely, definitely want to do my room tour soon. Oh, the music that I'm using in this video is a really cool artist. Everything about him and his work is linked below. I mean, the vibes that his music has given me is just like, yes. Everybody go check out his work and I'll try and find a Twitter or whatever for him linked below. Everybody have a really great day, week, whatever you're doing. Just remember to be back Sunday at 4.30pm for next week's video. Bye guys, see you. Whoa, so shiny, can you even see that? Right, and I'm just gonna literally just... I don't even know how to do this, but I'm just gonna... The way that you are, you make me wanna sign that booty for me. I do you